Good evening, the news summary for this Tuesday, 21st March. In court today, Laura Valabji has withdrawn her application to be released on bail whilst waiting on whether the Chief Justice will recuse himself from the case. Amongst the cases heard before the courts today, the second accused in the arms and prevention of terrorism case, Laura Valabji was waiting for a response to her latest bail application. Chief Justice Govinden informed the appellant that due to her filing a request that Chief Justice Govinden recuse himself from the case, she then has to wait until a judgment is rendered in respect to the recusal prior to her bail application being heard. Mrs. Valabji has subsequently withdrawn her application. And at the Constitutional Court, the Valabji couple had filed for a recusal of two amongst the three judges in their case. The case is questioning the legality of the charge against them along with the legality of their detention. The Constitutional Court also heard the case of the Ombudsman, the Bar Association and the Human Rights Commission against the 10th Amendment to the Constitution. This amendment gives the defense forces the same powers as the police force. The three entities have filed a submission in response to the Attorney General's objection that the judges in this case cannot hear it objectively as the judiciary as a whole was part of the making of the amendment. The case is back in court on the 9th of May. Then there was the case United Seychelles filed against the President, the Vice President, AG's Office and SBC with regards to their press conference no longer being aired live on national TV. It is this morning that United Seychelles lawyer submitted its response to the Republic's application that the case be dismissed. The court has allowed the AG's Office ample time to peruse the submission and file its response. The Human Resources Department in the Ministry of Health is looking into cases whereby health officers have not been promoted even if they have worked well over the period of time required according to the scheme of service. It is the Minister herself, Peggy Bidot, who said this when answering a private notice question from the Leader of the Opposition before the National Assembly this morning. The question was based on problems that the Ministry is encountering when it comes to the implementation of the scheme of service for doctors and dentists. The minister listed a set of conditions that need to be met uh, before any officer can be promoted. Minister Vidot said, apart from uh, budget issues, evaluation and recommendations for promotion from superiors are the two main uh, challenges they are facing. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, will be assisting the government of Seychelles in implementing two new economic programs. During a meeting with President Wivarum Kalawan, IMF updated the president on the status of the negotiations between IMF and the government. The Minister for Finance, National Planning and Trade, Nadia Hassan, and the uh, Governor of the Central Bank, Carolina Bell, were also present for the meeting. IMF's uh, Mission Chief, uh, Calix Aho Kapusi said Seychelles is one amongst the first countries to implement the Reliable and Sustainable Fund which IMF launched last year to help countries fight against climate change. We arrived last week at the request of the authorities to negotiate a new economic program with uh, Seychelles. So there are two programs actually. So there, there is the regular macroeconomic stability program that we call the extended fund facility, and then there is also a new facility that is called the Resilience and Sustainability uh, Fund. That one goes to support uh, climate-related um, uh, efforts of government around the world. All Strats State House this morning, the new American ambassador to Seychelles, Henry Jardine, handed his credentials to President Weaver Ramkalawan. This was in the presence of the minister responsible for foreign affairs, Sylvester Adegond. Ambassador Jardine said one of his priorities is to strengthen the bilateral relationship between the USA and Seychelles. In relation to the African Leaders Summit, we are looking at how we can support Seychelles in, in areas related to the environment, its economic development. We've seen some great initiatives here in, in Seychelles related to the blue economy and the blue bond, uh, the swapping of debt for grants and programs to help improve the maritime environment. So I think there are these kinds of areas that we're going to be pursuing and, and hopefully linking back to the African Leaders Summit program. 
24 Seychelles artists are comprising of painters, photographers and designers have participated in an exhibition on their vision of la francophonie here and elsewhere. Their work is being exhibited on the first floor of Alliance Française. The theme of the exhibition is La Francophonie d'ici et d'ailleurs. The 20 paintings are showcasing the culture and the Seychelles music as well as the French poetry, which represents the good relationship between Seychelles and France. The exhibition is opened until 21st of April. That's the end of this news summary. Join me at 8 for the news bulletin in Creole. Until then, have a pleasant evening.